In looking at some past paper questions here, you'll see a big difference in how much work you need to put in. But once again, the runtime of this video might show you it's not the biggest selection of questions to work from. The first kind you see is a simple combination truth table. Once again, the easiest thing to do would be to work out the A or B column first, and then just use the B and the A or B columns to work out the final result. Pause the video and give this a go. It'll take five minutes tops, and you'll have some accountability to yourself when you see the mark scheme. Go on, we'll wait. So here's the mark scheme. You'll see that the first column is a bog standard OR gate, and the last column just applies AND to the second and third columns. Here's an annoyance though. Despite the fact that this method for working through it is a column at a time, they give you the marks for each correct row. That's one mark per row. So it relies on you applying two sets of logical operators per mark. Now to me, that seems a bit mean, but that's the mark scheme for you. Onward to a question we really have only ever seen at GCSE, and it's one of those questions I really have no time for. For just a single mark, identify the expression that best matches this truth table. Ah, yuck. Seems like a lot of effort for a single mark, as only two of those expressions are standard logical operators anyway. Anyway, do pause it and have a go. We'll wait. So which one was it? Well, this is an odd one because it's only giving us a one as an output where A is on and B is off. Now this says to me that there's something going on with the not gate here because it's not the standard output. Let's try applying the expressions we can see uh, with a not symbol on them. Well, the first one, C equals not A or B, uh, that's just gonna give us the opposite of the OR gate. So we'd expect it to be something like one zero 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 instead of the zero one 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 that an OR gate would normally give us. It's definitely not this one then. How about C equals A and not B? It sounds more like it. So here we're gonna get a one where A is one and B is zero and, and that's exactly what the truth table says and boom, we've got a mark. Ah, a follow-up question, almost identical. A lot of ink being used on this paper for a single mark, isn't there? Anyway, pause it and have a go. I feel like I gave this one away when explaining the last one. Yes, it is C equals not A or B, as it's the inverse of a standard truth table. Those ones are a bit easier to spot, but still, this isn't my favorite kind of question. Please, please, please never miss out any of these tick the box questions. If you really don't know the answer, just tick something. You've got a one in four chance in this question of getting a mark, even if you don't know the answer. Ah, here's a more exciting question. This is actually a standard A-level question, but there's no reason it couldn't be given at GCSE. Once again, the method here is to work through one column at a time from left to right, and only using the columns you need. A good friend XORs in this one, so there's a bit more excitement than before. Pause the video and give it a go. No, really, take your time because this will really let you test your metal. No, seriously, go on, pause the video. Okay, you're back. Ha, <laughs> expecting the answer, were you? No, share your answer in the comments if you must. You've got this. I'll leave it here as a bit of homework, something to get you scratching your noggin. Anyway, on to the next video, huzzah!